Okay. Hi, ladies. How are you doing today? How's everything going so far? Yeah, really good. Great. How good. are you? I'm I'm doing great. I'm here in Toronto, so uh, things are great. Um, mm -hmm. Congratulations, season two. Very exciting. Abby, I just got to ask you, why are we connecting so well with these girls and why do we want more? What? <laughs> The characters or the or the cast? Yeah, just in general, like why do you know the audiences clearly cannot get enough of this series? But what do you think it is that we're, why we're connecting with them? You know, I think that um, I think that the series does a really good job of touching on a lot of real life teenage issues that um, you know people go through, and I think that's really special for a lot of young people to see and to relate to, as well as you know even people in their adult lives that they can, you know, relate to when they were young. And then I also think that it, because it came out in a time when everyone was kind of stuck indoors and yes. kind of wanting to escape reality, I think it was kind of the perfect thing for, for just that, because it is, you know, a fantasy realm. It's a different world. And it really, truly, I don't know, I feel like Kind of sucks you in in that way so i absolutely yeah no i agree yeah. with you 100 percent. especially yes especially during covid because that hey listen you know if you can introduce a series then people are like this is great i need more so awesome good you know had great for you guys um <laughs> Hannah, first of all it doesn't look like you guys are having way too much fun making this show seriously okay you know gotta you know i can't believe <laughs> that you get paid for this because it looks like <laughs> yeah this. but Hannah, no. I mean, come we're on. just saying yeah that, really. But playing the mean girl, I mean, tell me a little bit about stepping it up from season one to season season two. What are we gonna, you know, expect from Hannah uh, from uh, Princess Stella? What are we gonna see there? What's going on? I think um, Stella has been humbled um, by season one, uh, okay. which is interesting. There's been many blows to her ego, which maybe uh, is is arguably helpful, but also um, I think it, you know, it really comes at quite a severe cost because of the lack of foundation and um, stability in her home life. Um, and it's that thing of attempting to lean into trust and vulnerability with her friends, despite not having that in her sort of parental figures. Um, yeah. So it's quite an exciting exploration of how um, uh, meeting, meeting power and vulnerability actually makes you more powerful rather than that mean girl attitude in order to rule by force i guess ah, okay very very interesting okay now elliot you know i i want to ask because when you guys first met on season one obviously like you're all strangers whatever was it instant camaraderie because it just to me seems like you guys have such an amazing connection and how does that step that up knowing each other so well now yeah. step it up for season two it, it was really perfect because it had that well first of all yeah we really did have quite an instant camaraderie like we all clicked straight away and it really has that genuine feeling of being away at school um even though yeah uh, none of none of us are are any like yeah. none of us should be away at school anymore um <laughs> so it has this very helpful effect of slightly making you regress um and really <laughs> bonding us as a crew so when we came back for season two it was like this year I'm yeah. gonna be a new person and all the characters are doing that as well and then within five minutes it's like <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so um so, so there's there's a real art imitates life situation going on which is uh, genuinely i think is the heart of the show yeah well 100 percent. and and of course look you know no show is complete without adding some new characters and you have your your cousin flora now paulina yeah. how did you guys initiate her into the fold we honestly there was no need for initiation she's yeah. one of the most charming people i've ever met she, if, if anything, we were all initiated into Paulina's fold. Yeah, that's yeah. so true. It, we, we, <laughs> oh, we, we all, it's the feathers. <laughs> she got emotional. <laughs> it was like, um, she just slotted so perfectly in and we were all so charmed by her. We were just, yeah. um, I think being like, oh, I, please be my friend. Yeah. And she was like, yeah. So it worked out well yeah. for everyone. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so Abby, what can we expect from Bloom? Because, you know, there, there was a lot of, uh, well, so there's some things that, you know, that had it in the, at the end there, there was a tragedy, there's a shocking revelation, it's like all these things, you know, so it wrapped up season one, like leaving us hanging. So tell us what you can about what's what we can expect to see in Bloom's life in season two. I think that with Bloom in this season, I mean, we start off with her feeling, um, 
I think you can expect to see her feeling this guilt from releasing Rosalind and seeing, yeah. you know, her seeing the effects that it's already having on the school and on her friends. And, you know, she's, I mean, even in season one, she was battling whether or not to really fully trust Rosalind. And um, I think that that's something that you can expect in season two and see kind of that journey and see where that kind of takes her. Mm -hmm. um, she's also finding out new stuff about her life and her past yes. I didn't think would be possible after season one it's like everything's <laughs> piling up even more I'm like it's not like this poor girl um but, seriously yeah, seriously you, break. You, need some, you all need massages I think after. Yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah some therapy too I think I yes. think I would do this yeah well um I think yeah I think it's mostly her navigating that and um and navigating her newfound powers yeah um, yeah I yeah, it's from her past. And... Yeah, and and clearly, I mean, look, the show is so special effects laid in. You know, Hannah, did, did you ever get used to like using your imagination to the hilt when you're, you know, throwing fire bombs or whatever the heck it is? How did you wrap your mind around? Like, do you ever get used to that kind of thing working with so many special effects? I actually think the more that you simplify it, the easier it is. It's just like playing pretend, really. Um, and the more you attempt to try and cultivate, like, I want to look really cool when I do this thing, it actually detracts from it. It's the more playful and the more childlike you are, um, I think the more effective it is. Yeah. And also yeah. the more that translates into just like inviting people into the world, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. And Elliot, like when, when you feed, when you do these things and you're like, what am I doing? Like, what is this going to look like? But yeah. then you see the final product. You must be so blown away by what it all ends up looking like. Yeah, I mean, it's incredible. I think after season one, we have so much faith in the amazing special effects team that we have on the show. So it was more, it was like, we were just so excited to see what it was going to look like and they don't disappoint. They're really brilliant. And it's, I kind of watch it and forget that that wasn't happening when we were doing it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know it. Fire coming from my hands. Yeah. <laughs> I can see it when you're doing it. You just sell it yeah. so much. <laughs> Well, Abby, don't you have little something in your hand to help you like with that, like a little lasers or something like that? Yes. And that evolved from season one to season two that originally season one, they literally had like a rod from my oh like my from God. here. To, oh, like, God. Right here, I had to like, I couldn't even like really move. And then season two, they put more of like a kind of like a battery powered thing that they would just tape to my hands and it would like kind of light up, which yeah. was quite helpful as well, because then I could, you know, know when it was coming on and and all of that but yeah, i also do it, kind of prefer imagining it because then it's like i don't know more in mm. in your control and then it's more like you're playing pretend even yeah. even more which is Fun. what we do for a living and why exactly we do. exactly well listen you guys uh congratulations <laughs> again like i said thank you so much for your time and i really thank appreciate you. it and uh here in canada i know we cannot wait for season two to uh, oh, kick off so you. thank you so much for everything and have a very lovely weekend, ladies. Thank you so much. You, you too. too. All the best. Take care.